Track five, Summertime, as performed by Janis Joplin. God's got his eye on me, but I ain't a sparrow. I'm more like a lawnmower. No, a chainsaw. Anything that might mangle each manicured lawn in Port Arthur, a place I wouldn't return to if the mayor offered me every ounce of oil my daddy cans at the refinery. My voice, I mean, ain't sweet. Nothing nice about it. I won't fly even with Jesus watching. I don't believe in Jesus. The Baxter boys climbed a tree just to throw persimmons at me. The good and perfect gifts from above hit like lightning, leave bruises, so I lied. I believe, but I don't think God likes me. The girls in the locker room slapped dirty pads across my face. They called me bitch, but I never bit back. I ain't a dog, chainsaw, I say. My voice hacks at you. I bet I tear my throat. I try so hard to sound jagged. I get high and say one thing so many times, like Willie Baker, who worked across the street. I saw some kids whip him with a belt while he repeated, please, school out, summertime, and the living lashed. Mama said I should be thankful that the town's worse to coloreds than they are to me, but I'd grow up out of my acne. God must love Willie Baker. All that leather and still a please that sounds like music. See, I wouldn't know a sparrow from a mockingbird. The band plays, I just belt out, please. This tune ain't half the blues. I should be thankful I get high and moan like a lawnmower so nobody notices I'm such an ugly girl. I'm such an ugly girl. I try to sing like a man boys call boy. I turn my face to God. I pray, I wish I could pour oil on everything green in Port Arthur. And that's by the poet Jericho Brown. Jericho Brown is not my poem, Jericho. Amazing poet, check out his book, please. And the last poem I'll read is actually a Robert Haas poem um, called Between the Wars. When I ran, it rained. Late in the afternoon, midsummer, upstate New York. Mornings I wrote, read Polish history. And there was a woman who I thought about outside the moody, humid American sublime. Late in the afternoon, towards sundown, just as the sky was darkening, the light came up and red wings settled in the cattails. They were, they were death's idea of twilight, the whole notes of a requiem that mass clouds croaked above the somber field. Lady of eyelashes, do you hear me? Whiteness, otter's body, coolness of the morning, rubbed amber and the skin salt. Do you hear me? This is Poland speaking, the era of the, of the dawn of freedom, 1922. When I ran, it rained. The blackbirds settled their clannish squabble in the reeds, and light came up, first darkening, then light, and then pure fire. Where does it come from? Out of the impure shining that rises from the soaked odor of the grass, the levitating congregational, meadow light at twilight light that darkens the heavy-headed blossoms of wild carrot. Out of that, out of nothing, it boils up, pools on the horizons, fissures up, igniting the undersides of clouds, pink flame, red flame, vermilion, purple, deeper purple, dark. You could wring the sourness of the sumac from the air, the fescue sweetness from the grass, the slightly maniacal cicadas tuning up to tear the fabric of the silence into tatters, so that night, if it wants to, comes as a beggar to the door, at which, if you do not offer milk and barley to the main figure of the god, your well will foul, your crops will wither in the fields. In the eastern marches, children know the story that the aspen quivers because it failed to hide the virgin and the child when Herod's hunters were abroad. Think, night is the god dressed as the beggar drinking the sweet milk, gray beard, thin shanks, the look in the eyes, idiot, unbearable, the wizened mouth agape like an infant that has cried and sucked and cried and paused to catch its breath. The pink nubbin of the nipple glistens. I'll suckle at that breast. The one in the song of the muttering illumination of the fields before the sun goes down, before the black train crosses the frontier from Prussia into Poland in the age of the dawn of freedom. 50 freight cars from America full of medicine and the latest miracle, canned food. The war is over. There are unburied bones in the fields at sunup. Skylarks singing, starved children begging chocolate on the tracks. Thank you.